Hello, my name is Dr. Christoph Wald and I'm a radiologist at the Leahy Clinic in Boston. Your doctor may have ordered an imaging exam for you called MRCP. Today I would like to take a few moments to give you some more information about that exam. MRCP is an abbreviation for a complicated medical term. The MR stands for the type of machine that is used to perform the exam, an MRI scanner. The C stands for the Greek word cholangiography, which means imaging of the bile ducts. And the P stands for pancreatography, which means imaging of the pancreas. As mentioned before, an MRCP exam is performed in an MRI scanner. MRI uses no radiation and can take images of any body part. MRI scanners use magnetic fields and radio waves to make images of your body. For more details on which patient can or cannot have an MRI scan, what is involved, and how you need to prepare for it, please review the content on body MRI on this website. Or you may want to watch a short video on this website, just like this one, which explains all about body MRI. Now let's talk a little bit about what this exam is used for. I mentioned before that cholangiography stands for imaging of the bile ducts. Bile ducts are found inside and outside of the liver. Their purpose is to carry the bile which is made by the liver. Bile ducts connect the liver with the gallbladder, which is used for storing the bile, and the duodenum, which is the beginning of the small bowel, where the bile meets the food and is used for digestion. Here is an example of a liver. The colorful lines inside the liver show you where the bile ducts might be found. Bile ducts get a variety of diseases. They may be affected by benign growths, inflammation or cancer. All of these diseases can block the ducts, backing up the bile into the liver and causing the patient to develop a yellow skin, also called jaundice. Stones can form in the gallbladder and slip into the bile ducts causing pain and blockage. Bile ducts also can be abnormal by birth making it more likely for a patient to get into trouble with one or another of these diseases during their lifetime. MRI is very good at telling one type of body tissue from another, including abnormal from normal tissue, and therefore it is useful when one is looking for the diseases I mentioned. MRI is especially good at seeing fluids such as bile, and therefore it is very good at taking images of the bile ducts. Your radiologist may decide that contrast, a special dye seen well on MRI, would be helpful in your case, depending on which disease they are looking for. If that is the case, contrast may be given into your arm or hand vein during the MRCP exam. One of the major advantages of MRCP over other, more invasive methods of imaging of the bile ducts is that the images can be taken from the outside of the patient. Here's an example image of an MRCP. The white lines that you see are bile-filled ducts in the liver. In this example, some are bigger than others because they're blocked. Let's switch gears now. MRCP is also a great way to look at the pancreas. The pancreas is a gland situated in the upper abdomen. It makes hormones and digestive juice. Inside the pancreas are ducts which carry the digestive juice into the duodenum which is the beginning of the small bowel where the pancreatic juice meets the food and is used for digestion. Here's a drawing of the inside of the upper abdomen showing how the pancreas, colored in yellow, is nestled against the duodenum and the small bowel. On this image you cannot see the small ducts inside the pancreas which connect it to the duodenum. Here are two example images of the same patient which show an MRCP on top and a so-called ERCP at the bottom. You may agree that the images look very similar. The big difference is that the top image was taken from the outside with an MR scanner, whereas the bottom image required a doctor to put a camera down the throat of the patient and take an x-ray. Not unlike the bile ducts, the pancreas can get a variety of diseases. It can get inflamed, which can result in a narrowing of a pancreatic duct. Cancers and stones also occur in the pancreas and can cause blockages. 
The arrangements of the ducts in the pancreas can be abnormal by birth, making some of those diseases more likely to occur later in life. Most radiologists will interpret your MRCP images on a computer monitor. It takes a lot of training and experience to correctly interpret MRCP exams. A board-certified radiologist is a medical doctor qualified to independently supervise and interpret the images of an MRCP exam. More information on body MRI in general and MRCP exams in particular is available on radiologyinfo.org. Thank you very much for your time. Recorded February 2012. For more information and updates, please visit radiologyinfo.org.